Michigan County Veterans Honor Guard expresses our condolences to the family and friends of Larry Jean Porter. And we thank you for inviting us here today to honor, render the military honors. We're assembled here today to pay our last tribute of respect to our departed comrade. When the call of our country was heard, Larry answered. Self was forgotten in a cause for a greater good, and as a brave man, he marched away with an inviting faith in his God, his country, and his flag. The red of our country's flag has been made redder still by his heroism. The white more stainlessly pure by the motives that impelled him. And in the starry field of our nation's glorious banner, the blue has been glorified by the service he has given for American ideals. Our chaplain will now offer a blessing. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, Father of all, in the depth of our sorrow, we realize the truth of the inspired words. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. As comrade after comrade departs this life, we march on with the ranks grown thinner. Help us to be faithful unto thee and to one another. We beseech thee, look in mercy upon all of us here assembled, and with thine own tenderness, console and comfort those bereaved by the hand of death. Give them the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Heavenly Father, bless our country with freedom, peace, and righteousness. And through thy sovereign and Holy Spirit's favor, may we all meet at last before thy throne of grace in heaven. And to thy great name shall be praised forever and ever. Amen. 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 One by one, as the years roll on, we are called upon to fulfill these sad duties of respect to our departed comrade. The present, filled with the cares that beset all nations, whether engaged in war or peace, fades away as we look back on the day Larry left his home to defend his country. Imbued by a spirit of devotion, inspired by an undying love for his native land, he gladly went forth to join with comrades, both young and old, to preserve our heritage of freedom. We trust the example set by Larry would serve as a glorious beacon to the youth of our nation, who one day may be called upon to uphold the honor of our flag. As the years roll on, we too shall finish our fight. Shall be laid to rest, and our souls follow the long column to the realm above, as all unfolding death, hour by hour, shall mark his reproof. Let us so live that when the keeper of the eternal record shall call our name for the last time, those we leave behind may say of us, as we now say of Larry, lies all that is mortal, of a true-hearted comrade and a fearless defender of his country and his flag. For our final salute to Larry today, after you hear the rifles fire, please stand if you're able, place your right hand over your heart for taps. If there are any veterans present and you so desire, you may now render a hand salute. The rifle fire will be loud. Officer of the day, prepare the rifle squad for three volley salutes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Rifle squad, attention. Port, arm. Ready. Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. Aim. Freeze that.
information and the ultimate service of getting all the information. If you are continuing to bless you and your family, I think it's going to be And salute. This concludes the military portion of the service, and we thank you again for inviting us here. Thank you. Thank you. The honor guard is going to uh, line up right over here in just a second. We'll ask the pallbearers to come forward. Pastor mentioned, we're going to go right back inside church to the multi-purpose room. So inside to the left, please join the family for a luncheon there. Thank you. Oh,